Hi, my name's Tony, and this is My Life in San Diego. We all took the time to, to pitch to each other, and I think we got through two or three rounds of, you know, we had like pitch simulated games, pretty much. And uh, yeah, he lost a handle on, I think, it, I think it was, no, 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 he said it was a change up, because I saw it come out of his hand, like, you know, instead of it coming out of this part of his hand, it came out by the fingers, and pow, right in my kisser. Oh, and it made such like the big loud ass, flabby ass slap sound. It was ridiculous. And there were people watching us practice too, which was kind of funny. Nobody said anything, but it was like, oh, fuck. And I got to work tonight. And I got this guy, Seth, calling me, wanting me to take a shift from a Saturday. And I found out from him that I don't work on Saturday. I'm going to FanFest for uh, the All-Star game anyways. So now I like, told him like, oh yeah, well, and then, you know, I was like, oh wait, I got something to do on Saturday. And then now that I have Saturday off, I'm like, fuck Bill, I'm gonna do fan fest for as long as I can. So, anyways, uh, he called me back. He didn't. He didn't uh, leave a message. So I wonder if he found someone else or if he's still looking for someone. I don't know. I'll probably see him tonight. And I'm like, and I can't. I mean, uh, fan fest on Saturday. Going in on this gloomy Thursday to get the dude done. Here's so here's my haircut. And it kind of sucks because I got a lot of running around to do, and I'm like, you know, you touch with your hair and you like pull out all sorts of hair. little hair leans. I'm heading over to Dick's right now. I'm gonna get those baseball bats and then if I don't see anything that's really interesting I'm gonna probably head over to uh, Sports Authority in Oceanside. Voila. This is the area that I'm looking for. $25. 33 inch bat. Let's see what else they have. Alright. Pause it. As you know. I'm pretty cool, conflicted. They've got $50 maple bats. And I don't like using maple because they break easily. And so I've been swinging an ash bat for $50 though. A maple bat, it's the same price as the Pro Stock Light bats that I use. They're like a little bit heavier. It's kind of nominal, but it's still a maple bat. I mean, you don't have to swing as hard. I mean, the ball just will jump off that bat. So I don't know, I don't know what to do. You know, I didn't buy the maple bats. So what I'm gonna do is head on to Sports Authority and see what they have over there. I mean, they have $25 uh, ash bats, 33 inch ash bats. But I really like the Pro Stock lights. They're, gonna, they're minus three, like an aluminum bat. So, well, the 33s and the ash are really light anyways. But I just wanna see what Sports Authority has. That's where I usually get my bats. Um, I mean, I even thought about buying, I could get two of the maple and two ash for the same price as three maple. So you get four bats, price three. I thought about doing that. But uh, I was kind of conflicted about using those uh, maple bats. All right, maple bats. No, 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 no. This is a very sad selection. <sighs> Shit. Two of all over here for one 32 inch pro stock light, black. Damn. That sucks. Well, that was a colossal waste of time. I didn't have anything. I'm gonna go over to uh, Lens Crafters where I got my glasses and picked their brains about like athletic uh, sports glasses. And we go. Okay, here they are. Sports glasses, goggles, or like safety goggles. So I don't know what kind of a weirdo I'm gonna look like with them on, but I don't know. Without the hat, it just looks weird. So I don't know. Oh, it's kind of strange. I was gonna take some getting used to to wear these things when I play ball. Oh, that's strange. It looks kind of like, it's like a distortion. It feels like there's a distortion. I have to head out to the lower garage. I gotta look for my old baseball uniform. I'm playing with a team I haven't played with in a, oh, I guess a year and a half or so, Tri-City Devils. And um, 
I got a uni out here that I need to go pick up. So I need to find my jersey. No, of course it's not in the first place that I would put it. Shit, where the hell did I put that stuff? Here's a piece of history. This is a bat that I uh, that I used in 2000 and in late 2007, playing for the Tri-City Devils, the team I'm going to play with um, this coming weekend again. And this bat, I hit two home runs with this bat. If I can find my home run marks, because they're oh there they are right here. There's hard to see them. It's uh. You can see the laces. There's one right here. That's one. And then the other one's like this. So it's got this kind of like an S shape to it. So two home runs with this one bat. And then I struck out a shitload. And the problem is, like, every time I went up the bat, with this bat specifically, I thought, oh, I'm going to hit a home run. So what I did is I broke it intentionally. I just had to retire it. I just, it was yeah, it's one of those weird baseball things. I had to retire the bat. Bingo. Pulling it out of retirement. Try to see Devils. Number 22. Of course, it was back there underneath the very last box. Okay, so I got the call just uh, about 30 minutes ago that my car will be ready at 5 today. So I'm heading over there right now to go pick it up. And, uh, and I'm really excited. You know, I actually. Uh, <laughs> I'm far more excited than I thought I was going to be. So I haven't seen ever is a, like a little Vespa on the road. This chick's pretty brave too, she cut me off. Not really, I wouldn't say she cut me off, but she definitely, oh there she goes, it's like Mario Kart. Okay, well I'm here at Lens, I'm here to pick up my car. There's the uh, Dodge over there now, here at Lens Auto Body. Well I'm back in my car, and I'm loving it. Oh my gosh, everything, like a car's low and small and shifting again. Like the doors right here, oh, just everything. The brakes are like not used to the brakes again. But uh, now I gotta figure out like where to put my camera because of all the things that Dodge had going for it, it had good space for the camera. And uh, now I gotta figure out how to, how to mount this thing again. Oh, I miss that sound. Oh, it looks awesome too. I hope you guys saw that. You saw in the video, I didn't buy a baseball bat or baseball bats, and um, and I kept talking about uh, I'm conflicted about these um, about using a maple bat, and that's because what happens with a maple bat is it's a hard wood, so when you hit it wrong, the barrel pretty much breaks in two, it snaps, and so you could have a section, you could have the barrel fly off into the field, and you'll be left with just the handle of the bat. And the reason why I'm conflicted is because I really don't want to injure anybody. I don't want to hit the pitcher with the barrel of the bat. If I, if I hit off the end of the bat or if I get jammed, I don't want the barrel to fly off into the, um, to the infield. So just sort of out of courtesy for other players, since we're not professional players, uh, I just prefer ash bats. Tomorrow, Stro and I are going to go bat shopping. And um, I'm going to make sure to bring my camera along because we're probably going to go to Dick's. Um, and just kind of do that. I talked to him about the game on Sunday, and he's kind of nervous about it. And um, I remember kind of being in that position when I first started playing in the men's league. I was really nervous. He'll do fine. He's a good player. It might take him a couple of games to get back in the groove of it, or he might not. He might just go out there and mash on the first day. He's, he's a pretty solid ball player. So you guys have a nice night, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow. This is another ghost story. Okay, so here let me show you how things are set up. This is my bed, cool Spider-Man pillow, you know. That lamp up until, like I just moved that lamp while I'm doing vlogs now for my light source. It used to be right here. You can still see the spot where it was. So I could turn on and off as I go to sleep. Well, I would wake up in the morning and the overhead light will be on. And which is weird because I would use that lamp to turn the light off. The light switch is way over here. So somehow in the night, and I don't usually get up to go to the bathroom, 
that light switch was turned on. And that used to happen a lot. 